Yo! What's up everybody? It's Superfly Fat Guy, A59, coming at you yet again. And I'm coming at you with a, I don't know really what to call it. Um, I guess, like, uh, Kershaw has impressed me. Um, I did a I did a video a long time ago about the customer service that I got from uh, from Kershaw, and I was not a fan at all. And to be honest, I'm still not. Uh, I'm not gonna apologize or go back on what I said because the, the customer service that I had was terrible. However, um, I have purchased several uh, Kershaw budget folders since then. I've also been given a couple, and um, I can't rant and rave enough about them. I think they are amazing knives for the money. Um, there's only one of these, and you can probably tell which one, that's like much over $20. In fact, uh, I don't think any, any of them is over $21, except for one, of course. Um, <clears throat> and I just think they're awesome, so I wanted to talk a little bit about them. I'm not gonna talk about the ones I've already talked about before, except to, you know, to tell you that I think they're awesome. So the Kershaw Injection, it's a beefy knife. It's it's kind of heavy uh, for, you know, maybe, I mean, you know, well, it's not, okay. It's not kind of heavy <laughs> to most people, but for all of these here, it's probably the heaviest one. Uh, full steel liners, and how do they milled out? I think they might be milled out a little. Yeah, they got some, some holes in them, but not a whole lot. Um, but... It's an amazing knife for the money. I think I paid $21 for this thing. It's three and a half inch blade, and it's it's awesome. You got G10, like real G10. Uh, it is smooth. It's got this cut out here just to kind of look cool, but it also aids in some grip. And uh, I love this thing, man. Absolutely love it. Um, ranted and raved about that. I think I got a review on it as well. In fact, I know I do. Um, another one, the Kershaw Nerve. Man, this thing is awesome. The only knife that I really, really love the serrations on. I'm not a serrations fan at all, but look at that. Just awesome. Simply awesome. Cool thing about this is you can actually sharpen those uh, serrations just like you would a plain edge on the, uh, the Spyderco Sharp Maker. You just kind of slide it down the damn uh, sharpening rod and bang, bang, boom. You got it sharpened, man. It, this, this, these things are awesome. Absolutely love it. Again, G10, and it's got this cool, like knurling like cnc machined uh pattern on it that just it, it makes it extremely grippy and uh with the uh the gimpin <laughs> the uh the serrations in the thumb uh or finger choil <laughs> jumping on the thumb ramp <laughs> um man it's just an amazing knife i think i paid like 17 dollars for this thing you can't beat it. I mean, it's it's an amazing knife. I love it. Uh, here we got a couple that are that were gifts to me. Uh, I used to have one just like this a long time ago. I get rid of it, and uh, my good old buddy Laura sent me another one. But the Kershaw LFK, uh, it is discontinued. But uh, if you can find it, I would pick one up, man. They're amazing. They got aluminum handles and uh, extremely light. I don't know ounce and or. Uh, yeah, an ounce and a half, maybe, if that. <laughs> not not a whole lot at all, but it is small. But it's a great knife, man. I love this little thing. Again, I think they were around twenty dollars. Uh, they might be a little bit more. Well, they'll probably be a little bit more now because they're discontinued. But amazing little knife. I think these are all eight CR thirteen MOV. Um, I don't know if this one is list. No, I think it is ATR13 uh, though. But anyway, just a, a crazy awesome tiny tiny little knife. I think it's uh, about the size of my middle finger. <laughs> so uh, the next one, the Kershaw. Well, they're all Kershaw. <laughs> the G10 Hulk. Love this little thing. I think it's an awesome little knife. Super lightweight, but it's very capable, like all of these are, of getting the job done. Amazing little knife for the money, I think. Uh, well, this one was sent to me by Jim, uh, Jimmy the Fish, but <clears throat> I think this is about a $20 knife as well, somewhere around there. And just amazing, amazing little knife. The uh, the one that is obviously more expensive than all the others and has been <laughs> used quite a bit is uh, the Kershaw Blur. Okay, now don't get me wrong, this is an amazing knife. Great knife. 
well-built, solid knife. But to be honest with you, I think this is about $50. This is $20. I mean, for the money, injection all day. It's a great knife, don't get me wrong. It's got the Sandvik steel. Uh, you know, it's got the, the, uh, the grip tape, like, inserts, aluminum handles. Great knife. You can get it in like a thousand and fifty different colors or something stupid, but awesome, awesome knife. But the injection, I mean, as far as quality, it's the same thing in my opinion. Um, so you're paying thirty dollars more for like a cool color and you know the 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 uh, traction uh, inserts there. But I don't know, man. I gotta say, I think for the money, go with the injection. Amazing knife. Um, but again, the Kershaw Blur is a, I mean, you know, that's one of their staple models, man. That's, it's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's been a tried and true design and, uh, and, and model for them. So I'm not knocking it or anything. I'm just saying for the money, I'm very impressed with these, these budget folders that, uh, that Kershaw has come out with. Um, and last but not least, I just got this one and I don't know what the hell I took, why I took so long to get it. I paid $20 for this thing on eBay. It's the Kershaw Chill. In fact, shout out to uh, the Shiny Knife. As soon as I saw his video on this, I went to eBay and picked one up. Um, I had thought about it. And I was like, ah, I don't know. I don't know if I'd like it. This thing is stupid awesome. I think it weighs like two ounces. Um, very capable knife. I don't know exactly the dimensions, but I want to say it's about a three-inch blade. Very thin, very slim, very low profile i mean it's it's very light and uh overall it's not very big but the blade is like huge for for i mean it's equally as long as the handle <clears throat> and you get a lot of blade for this little bitty knife and i just it's an amazing knife man i love this thing so i mean for the money sure you can go with the blur and spend you know fifty dollars or sixty dollars i don't remember exactly what it was Somewhere around 50 or 55, but 30 dollars less, over 30 dollars less, you can get the the injection, and I think you're gonna have an equally amazing blade. I mean, for for everyday carry, for everyday use, for everyday tasks, I think uh, I think this is an amazing quality knife. So I'm not, I'm again, I'm not trying to um, sway you from going to the more expensive knives, but definitely don't hesitate to uh to go to this budget line man they like i said they got so many offerings and so many more than just these that are just awesome quality and you know there's more that i want to get um just simply because i'm so impressed with these i want to see what the other ones are like i think somebody recommended the, the thistle i don't know man I, the design is just it doesn't it's like it's not up my alley but i'll probably buy one eventually just because of the, the uh the affordableness <laughs> if that's a word of uh of it and you know just to give it a whirl and see how i like it because the chill was one that i was kind of skeptical about but now that i have it this might be my current favorite edc knife like i love this thing i think it's so awesome so thin so lightweight now it is more of a push button than it is a uh than it is a light switch but the light switch obviously does work <laughs> but uh it's more in my opinion it's more of a push button um but still it works either way it's just see not always light switching it not always is it going to engage but uh great great knife man i highly suggest like i said twenty dollars basically twenty dollars for any of these except for the blur and you got one hell of a easy EDC knife that's going to withstand just about anything you throw at it. Especially these two. I mean, these two are rock-solid knives. You know, these are, are very lightweight, very minimalistic. But, I mean, I would not I would not hesitate to put the nerve or the injection through, like, very hard use. I, I wouldn't hesitate. Especially this one. Man, this thing is just is built like a tank. And for, like I said, I think I paid $21 for it. Not bad at all. So, anyway, guys, this has been long enough. I just kind of rambled about <laughs> Kershaw budget knives. But they're amazing knives for the money, man. I can't recommend them enough. So, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And everybody, take her easy.